Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to add um, Rising Lava to your Gruel Attack fan game. So it's pretty easy. Um, the first thing you want to do, you want to create your cube. This is going to be the Rising Lava. So put whatever material you need to put on there. And you can make this like a Pro Builder uh, thing if you want to make the texture larger. But I'm just going to do basic cube. Um, if it is a Pro Builder mesh, so let's say that it is. Um, you, obviously it's going to have a mesh collider. Um... If it has a mesh collider and you want to put its trigger on it, which is required for the script, just uh, add a box collider, check its trigger, and you're perfect. So, yeah. And you just want to um, pretty much expand this like this. And you just want to make this the size of your lava map. So, like, however big your lava map is, you just want to make that the size of your um, thing. And then make sure that it can go, like, all the way up there. And then, yeah. So once you do that, you want to go to Window Animation, and you want to uh, you could do Control Six as well to open the animation window. I recommend putting it by your project console in Pro Builder window, possibly. And what you want to do, all you want to do is um, so first you want to put the Lava Touch script on here from my Discord, um, which you can find there. So script by Lockamonk. Don't steal it, please. Don't steal it, um, even if edited. But yeah. So current scene name. Um, that would be new for me. It looks like I have a star there, but for that, that's just a glitch. But yeah. So, current scene name. This was required because it's basically going to spawn you back wherever you were if you get hit. There's no teleporting. And you could network this. I'm not exactly sure how to do that, but I'm pretty sure BMix made a video on it. So, yeah, watch that. Um, I'm not going to make an entire map real quick. Uh, because that would take too long, but um, what you want to do, you want to click create, and you just want to, I already have a lava clip, because I was testing my script earlier, but um, yeah, and what you want to do, you just want to like, uh, once you have your lava clip, you just want to go like, all the way, maybe like, I don't know, 15 minutes back, here, and just select that, and then click record, and drag it up to wherever you want the lava to stop. So let's say I wanted to stop there. Stop. And then if you play the clip, as you can see, it rises up. Um, about that fast. Uh, if you want it to go faster, what you could do, you could just delete the clip and bring your thing back farther. But if you don't feel like doing that, then you can just bring this back farther. And yeah, and you can restart clip if you want. That might be a bit fast. So, maybe, like, 20 would be good, or maybe even 30. But, yeah, and then, yeah, so, once you have your clip and stuff, so not a lot of it rises up, and you have your Lava Touch script on there. Um, what you need to do, finally, is you need to go to Build Settings, and you want to add Open Scenes. Um, and then, whatever script, and, or else the script will not work. So, yeah, and Scenes and Build, that would work. The reason I have these unchecked is because these were my old scenes that I had before I started remaking my game. But yeah, that's basically how you add Rising Lava to your Rural Attack fan game. It's pretty easy. But yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a sub. Uh, thanks for 100 subscribers on this channel. It means a lot. We're almost at 200 members in the Discord, so obviously join, join the Discord to get the scripts. But um, yeah, that's it. Uh, I hope you guys have an amazing day, and goodbye.